Hi, in this tutorial of JavaScript, we are going to learn these types of JavaScript. It's basically how much way we can write a JavaScript. But basically, JavaScript works for the browser engine. But we are going to explain that how you can write a JavaScript and where you can write it and which is the perfect way to write for the types of JavaScript. So now here I'm just going to show the first one that is internal script. You can write that script internal of anywhere the places. And secondly, that is external places. You can write your script the external. So and then the third one that is browser script. You can write the script in your browser also. So I'm just going to show that the live practical demo in this dot. This total of the three steps: internal, external, and the background at the browser script. So we are going to explain that everything and how we can write it and this which is the easiest method to write the script. So let's start this video right now here. Okay, now here you can see I have opened my VS Code and there you can see I have added the basic HTML file and I have added it to H1 and the H2 tag. So here inside of this I have writing that JavaScript tutorial and this is by the code prime. And this is the by default as a demo this HTML from. So this is here. So first of all, I'm just going to show that how you can connect the internal JavaScript. And we're going to see the live preview one here. This is the page. So this is the live preview. Now it's back to our studio of code. So now we're going to writing that code inside of this. So after this section, there is internal script. So here I'm just going to writing that script here. And then we're going to writing here this the JavaScript. So I'm writing is simple that is alert masses. So it is alert. And here I'm just going to writing that hello code prime. So that's it. And just save this or you can just end of this JavaScript. So just using that same clone and open with the live server. So now you can see here it was showing that hello code prime. So this is actually the JavaScript alert message and just click the OK button and it will be disabled. Now reload this page, it will be show again and again. So this is a simple example. I'm just going to show this is an internal script, but this is in the body section, or you can write this script simply from here to this section from your body after this body section and it will be still work so just remove this on the previous one and reload this page you can see it was still working so now back to our coding studio so this is our internal of this our body section script so now we're going to put in this one to our there is our actually header section and paste it here now just reload this page and here you can see when we're writing this in our header section it was still working so it means the JavaScript will be work for anywhere, wherever you are going to writing in your internal pages, it will be work for the anyone anywhere. But when you are going to using that script, so it's a very easy to use for the, and this is very important to use. Whenever you have end all of your coding session, all of your code this, and then after before the body tag, you can just write it here. So this will be open that, and whenever you writing this JavaScript on here, so it will be load. This JavaScript will be loaded after this website is loaded and then the JavaScript will be loaded. And when you are going to provide this putting this one there the top header. So it will be fast to that like this way that when the first of all the JavaScript will be loaded then the website will be loaded. You can see that it that is still loading but the JavaScript is already done. So this is actually the difference of that whenever you are going to putting in your body section or your header section in your internal step. So now here I'm just going to providing that another one that is the next one that is actually this is we're going to be using that the external script. So here external script for using that. So you have to go your folder that where you are using that your coding section. Now you have to create a file. So here I'm just creating a script dot js file. Now open that js file and hide this one. Now here we're going to writing this is our JavaScript file. So here directly I'm writing here this alert and then the message for it hello code prime and this is done or you can end of this coding session just using the semicolon now just back to here in our javascript file and there we have to connect that script file so we can connect this two way in our header section or our body section so i'm connecting here the header section first of all so you have to type that script and double dot src and press enter so it will be created that is link section so there we have writing that this script file we have make it here directly so now we just need to making a slash and then connect this file script.js so this is perfectly connected and you must be save this file and it is saved now just back to this the open with the live server you can see that 
the JavaScript is hello code prime so this alert message is working so if we were connecting this one into a body section so here this is the body section and reload this page open with live server first and you can see the reload it was still working so this is the two easiest way that you can write your JavaScript in your internal script or your external script you can connect them anywhere but this is the better option that is whenever you're going to be playing an script so this is better option way better option that is when you are going to be using that you must be put it in the body section so that first website will be loaded then the script will be run but if you provide that script in your header section then first script will be run then the website will be run and it will be take so much of time for loading your website and if you provide that your script in body section then website will be run first and the script will be loaded later of this website and it will work very fastly and this website will be loaded and everything is working fast so here i'm just making the remote from here and we are just opening in your browser so there is no script is running you can see here so now this you have to make it just right click your mouse and and here you can see the inspection button or you can press directly from your browser that is f12 button so it will be directly go to you that this instruction that is inspection made and now this i'm just making here and there you can see that element section here it will be by default open and you have to go there the console and this is actually the javascript console so let me remove this previous all expression so this is the console of this javascript this is basically javascript so as i said that javascript will be run only your browser interface so this is we're going to be using that javascript in our browser script and whenever we're writing in a script in our browser then it will be completely work for the browser mode so here i'm just writing that alert masses and here i'm just writing it so hello code prime and then this double quotation and bracket and press enter you can see here the code is run successfully and it was showing the pop-up message of the alert so this is actually you can write your browser escape so you can write over anywhere whenever you're going to testing your website that if i write that script it will be work or not so directly you will not do, do that the script directly on your browser your coding studio then it can be take some time because first of all you have to take checking the testing that if it work then i will be write that into the coding section so for that reason you can write that script on your browser section and just in this is the console area of javascript you can write it and this is called the browser script so i have explained this total of this your internal script and this external script and the browser script so the final decision that is which is the waiting faster and which is getting very good so for this you can write your escape on this body section and this after first of all you have to make the website design and this end of this section and there is a before this close body so you have to write your escape here so this will be very faster your web and this will be working smoothly and it will be take some time for you and it will be take very less time for loading your website and everything function will be work very fastly so this is the total about this information about the types of Zabaski people is still having any inquiry about it if you're having any question about it so you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoy this video please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any tutorial from us